Well, good morning to all. Oh, that is dirty. Oh, it's even dirtier now, isn't it? Better. So, good morning to all. Uh, why I hadn't started filming, I don't know why. It's just because I'm trying, I got so much stuff going on. Uh, speaking of the cool stuff going on, check out this new intro from JK. So cool, so pumped. And uh, go check out his channel, his description below. But right now, check out this new intro. Awesome, right? That's pretty cool. So yeah, anyway, what I'm doing now is uh, the one-man band has to get this into that well i have a winch but unfortunately i haven't got a mount for it yet see the winch is right up there i'll go ahead and get that mount in there but i gotta get moving on this so right now i just got the strapped to the truck going out the door and uh about a foot at a time i've just been slowly inching it right on in so let me let me go grab my tripod out of the cabin and then uh i'll let you guys see me get it the rest of the way in that intro was cool wasn't it Again, a lot of stuff going on with the cabin. There's a tripod. Um, okay, for starters, right here. Got a ton of comments about the floor uh, and staggering the joints. If you watched at the, be the beginning of the video, I mentioned that this was just extra flooring that was in the cabin that uh, I believe the, the, the gentleman had. It looks like there was enough to do the bathroom, so I'm guessing that's what it was. That's not the permanent flooring that's going in here. This flooring is not going to attic so I have an attic space and a crawl space up there. That's where that's going. So I just threw that down there to get out of the way. So let's go ahead and clear all that up right now. But check out the wall, man. It looks good. You can definitely see the difference now that it's dry. I got cut in the top up there. Get a blank plate for that. And then I believe that wall is done. Other than floors and baseboard. One of the missions today is to actually get those installed as well. I took a run to the dump yesterday, took a lot of the old sheetrock and stuff that uh, wasn't going to be used, made sure I had enough sheetrock for uh, to finish up the bathroom. But uh, we got all that taken care of and done, and uh, a lot of the other garbage, so the next mission is to clean up that front room. Man, that thing is dirty. Oh, I think it's just the other thing is dirty. But clean up that front room and uh, keep moving the ground on that. But right now, let's get this ramp into this trailer. So this is probably why I didn't film it because it's been a lot of this. I'm pretty sure. I might be able to pull it in now. Maybe. So close. Pull it one more time. Hey, you wanna know the real bummer about this is yesterday I had some guys here I gave uh, that old mower some old generators to. And right when they left, I was thinking to myself, man, I should use them to help me push it in. 
Now I've been on for an hour. Little by little though, right? Ugh. I think I might be able to pull it now. Let's see. Ah! Ah! One more pull this over, okay? Just one more. So I think I got it now. Probably not, who knows. I'm just gonna keep trying. Yeah, see, I got the winch right here. Man, when I get that hooked up, it's gonna be so much easier. So maybe now, I gotta, you gotta watch the top right now. I think it's critical, you can't let the top hit the spring and then go drag an old trailer forward. Oh yeah, there it is, there it is. Time to go sit in the AC for a bit. Oh man, what a mission. Boy, oh, there you are. You got it though. Made it. Yeah, so you can only imagine for the first 45 minutes, I was going back and forth, 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 back and forth. Well, mission accomplished. We made it in here. Now comes uh, the brainstorming as to how exactly I'm going to load the trailer each and every time. You know, I had to take a break from the cabin because. I just got so much stuff going on. Uh, getting ready for, you know, the show's coming up. We got the race next week. We have the track all week. Uh, trying to leave the track early. Come home, work on a cabin some. I got to get this ready for the end of the month and then get down this down to Miami um, here at, at the beginning of next month. So a lot of stuff going on. Also, oh, look. Put it straight. Also, if uh, you're in Oklahoma area, show's still going on all week this week. All the way up till next Sunday. So uh, swing by Tulsa State Fair. See, see Ed, Rob. Mark and Ryan, those are the guys riding. Well, Ed's not riding, but anyhow, uh, let me show you what I'm doing in the front over here. So ultimately, as, as time allows and funds allow, uh, this, this is going to become the, uh, basically the living area. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna build this up over to here and a wall straight up right there. And then there's gonna be a bed that goes right here with maybe uh, some little storage and stuff right here. And then I'll get a window mount or a AC unit for up top there. Um, eventually, that way I'll have AC. I have the bed there. Maybe have the fridge right up here or something. And uh, a little couch and a little lounge area so that uh, you don't have to show. They have a nice little, like, like cool little area to hang out. That way you're not out in the sun all day. So, yeah, that's more projects I got going on. <laughs> I could never do them before because I didn't have the trailer. But now I got the trailer, I can start on this. But I got all the other stuff going on. So. Just thanks for everybody hanging out and uh, coming on this adventure and commenting and liking, subscribing, sharing. I tell you what, we're almost to 9,500 uh, subscribers, so close to that 10,000 mark. And uh, we're just keep on climbing, keep on having fun. So let's have some more fun. I tell you, if you hadn't seen uh, Julia's video with the pizza, man, that pizza was phenomenal. Well, I haven't seen the video yet. I actually got to make the video still. But uh, wow, wow, wow. That thing was huh, delish, as she says. But uh, check out the yard, man. I went and borrowed Paul Paul's mower yesterday. I actually, <laughs> I took that big old trailer um, five miles down the street to pick up a little old lawnmower to bring it back so I can mow the yard because uh, my lawnmower's broke. Well, actually, I gave it away yesterday because it was broke. I need to get a new one. But yeah, man, it looks good. It looks really good, doesn't it? And that pond, when I get that pond, imagine that big, nice pond out there. Maybe an island, maybe not. Water fountain flowing. And all the dirt, I'm going to pile up, make a big, giant berm right there. And plant all kinds of cool plants on it. Maybe get bamboo, put a bunch of bamboo on it, and then it just grow up nice and big green and be really cool. So, all right, let's get to work. Hey, TK. Katie, you have to live with that every day, don't you? Wow, I'm glad I got that caught on tape. I, um, I've been wanting, <laughs> you guys may have seen in some of Julia's video, uh, that uh, about that that infamous washing machine the squeaky dryer well nobody really knows how bad that washing machine just start to shakes and goes crazy in there so I was walking by just then I heard it going like it, it sounds like thunder inside every wash every single wash that does that probably two and three times sometimes during the wash it's out of control but um, that's what she says that's what she gets for accepting the out of the box when I delivered it they delivered it like from Lowe's I think whenever and uh, it was out of the box so 
Lesson learned on that one, huh? All right, it's good work. I keep saying that, don't I? Oh yeah, I came over to the cabin. So, so basically what I had to do is, um, that was a hit record. Perfect. All right, so uh, yesterday I came in here, gave another, put some more mud on the walls here. All right, it's getting dry. What I'll do is I'll hit it with a sander a little bit. And, oh, got plenty of meat. And hit it one more time with a little skim coat. And then that will be ready for texture. And then once I texture that, paint this room out. Oh yeah, I gotta do the, I'll have to do the ceiling fan soon. That's gonna be interesting, that's gonna be fun, but that'd be cool, this room's all painted, no paint here, it's all clean. Uh, I'll sponge bathe the floor, or wipe the floor, and then, uh, yeah, fan being here. And I'm really impressed with the attic too, uh, the attic entrance, pretty happy with that, the way it came out. But yeah, as you can see the wall behind me, the, oops, paint there, the completed wall with the fixtures, yep. I gotta get some longer screws for this one because it bows in a little bit. Because I had to push in to reach a bit. Like I said, I gotta get a flat blank cover that goes over that. And there's the other outlet switch down there. Pretty pumped, pretty excited. Um, trimming the top and yeah. So this that's the, the idea today is to complete this wall, work in the ramp, getting that stuff loaded and situated, and then uh, complete getting that texture on. That's what I'm gonna do. I gotta make Julie's video and I gotta make this video. But we can do it, right? You guys having fun? Hey, this is, I like doing this. Watch this, hold on. So what I do there is I hit all the little clicker things. Oops, forgot about that. The little clicker things. Oh, hold on. Okay, got it. Oops, I just bumped onto the ceiling. Sorry about that. But, uh, there, there you go. Now I like doing this, ready? Ready, go. Oh, uh, again. Oh, does that hurt? One more time. Oh, you got one more. Oh, oh man. You guys shouldn't have fell down like that. Better stop goofing off. I want to get anything done, right? <laughs> All right, Julia says there's no, there's little water pressure right now. So she wants to go check the meter out by the road to see if uh, it's spinning or leaking. So that way it could be leaking somewhere between there now, so I don't think so, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. So, one second. Big old pond right there. <laughs> Water fountain. Colored lights. Maybe I'll get one of those things that have the, the water goes, <laughs> shoots over and lands. And <laughs> That'd be fun, huh? Whoa, look out, I gotta get by. Look out. Basically, I'm watching to see if that red triangle moves. Looks like the red triangle is staying still. Just as I figured. Um, we got a motorcycle down there. Just as I figured. It's the city water pressure, so um, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. That's, that's that. I'll tip. All right, let's go tell Julie the news. The reason why I filmed it is because I can show her, and then she'll know for sure. See the little ant crawling around, but the triangle's not moving, so. <sighs> Things get dirty again. I think so, maybe. It's one of my dirty fingers. Oh, look, there she is. I filmed it so you can see it. I said I filmed it so you could see it. So in my Mr. Multitasking, we're going, like I said, get another coat on here. And uh, get that done. Oh, that's right, Well, I forgot to hit record, so I thought I would record, but I wasn't. Coming down this side now. I really didn't need much on this side, but I'm just, Overdoing it, I guess. Mm, that should do it. Now that it's dry, a little sand and texture, and bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. 
So we got it all, like I said, skimmed out, and then I'll go ahead and sand it once it dries tomorrow. Maybe later, probably not later today, but uh, I'll sand it out and then I'll texture it. So we'll see, we'll see what it looks like later on. But uh, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this top thing, uh, top, top trim, trimmed in with the first coat. So I'm gonna put pickle there. Just make it easier if you have to really fine tune it. You guys are watching me. Gotta go wash this now. Coat one done. We'll let that dry. Coat two. Let that dry. Peel the tape. Yeah. So we got the door skimmed. Got the. I just realized I thought I. Oh. Door the window. Oh. The window's blue. Door shut. Uh, I thought I trimmed it in the, <laughs> an extra white, which was a ceiling paint, but actually I did double check it. It's over. So let that dry again. Let that dry. Definitely, it's crazy how darker it gets when it dries. But then, uh, like we'll hit it again, and then that should be done. Now you're gonna ace and get the plate, but right now let's let's go try and get that um, the airbag out. This should be entertaining. Yeah. Well, another use my truck and a strap and wood and all kinds of stuff, and then I'll eventually get it. Oh, that lens is dirty again. Man, sorry. All right, let's go do this. So as I'm trying to get things organized, everything that was in my ramp before transfer. Sorry about that. But I transferred it back to uh, the trailer. I have to get this out of here. First, I move these toolboxes and stuff. But, uh, I gotta uncover it first. Hopefully, no animals are under there. We're gonna find out. Yeah, I got a pretty good mess going on over here. Um, all these extra hurricane straps I bought. I'm trying to film. Metal that'll make the roof on the terrace for Zoe. Using this old pan metal. Pretty cool. Right. You ready to pull it off? As you can see, it's been a while, so uh, <sighs> let's hope it's all good. Remember, I cleaned it up not too long ago. We gotta get this thing pulled out. All right, it's on a piece of plywood. So yeah, it's on a piece of plywood, but these casters fell off on this side. So I'm gonna uh, screw some handles on here. That way I can hook the uh, truck up and I'm just gonna have to drag it through the dirt and see what happens. It's kind of the only thing I can do. So I'm basically just gonna self-tap this on here so I can grab a hold of it and pull it. Tapper. There we go. Nice. Well, I got one on top, one on the bottom. Oh, it's hot. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna got a couple more. Let's go ahead and do it right.
Think I can eat through that bolt I already put in there? Let's try it. Nope. Make a new hole. There we go. Now that's better. So here's what I've done. I had a couple pieces of plywood over there. I went and got my jack. I jacked it up. Got the wheels on. I did do it in the back. But uh, we're just going to see what happens right here. That's what I want to do. Got the strap. I'll pull the truck up and uh, strap it on. Yeah. Ready to see what happens? I'm going to leave you all out here. Let you watch from this side. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, take it, pull pull that around this way, right? And I have the handle to pull it on in. Pretty cool, huh? Right now I just got the truck and myself, but that's how it goes. Actually, I'm gonna pull a little bit more forward. That way, when I straighten it out, we'll be good. Yeah. That's, oops. Sorry. There I am. That's what I'll do. So close, come on. Ah. Ta-da! Now, right here, you guys gotta pull it in. I'm done for the day. Go ahead, here. Got it, pull it. So once I have all this set up, obviously when you're at a show, there's more people there. Especially in concrete, you can roll this around a lot easier. And then when I have the winch, it just pulls everything right in, so much easier. But uh, now that the trailer's mine, I can actually probably do that, so. Let's get this in there. So ultimately, I'm going to basically do the same thing. Bring the truck over here. Hook up, just gotta get this straight. Hook the truck up to this and pull it on in. Let's see what happens. I'll set you all up over here. Let me know. Holler if it starts going off course or something. Just let me know, all right? Or maybe just leave a comment. Up and on. It goes off track. All right, go a little off track and you straighten her up. Okay. Can anybody drive the truck? Maybe she can do it. Nah, it's too much fun like this. Julia, I do this, I think. Help me out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Julia to help me. Uh, that way, there's no running back and forth. And we saw in the one video when I was unloading it over there, 
Like I said, filament find out. I pushed it and it went off track. It snapped the wire. It ran over the camera and a tripod. So Julie's gonna back it up and I'm gonna guide it in. So let's do that. Back it up. Back it up, baby. <laughs> All right. Hopefully Julie can do this. You can back up slowly as I asked because. That's what I said. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put some shims in front of the ramp there so that a clunk clunk up over it. So what am I doing? Oh, sorry about that. That there like that. Right when the wheels get here. Ow, splinter. That like that. Try to get one more over there. Uh, I need to make a thicker one. Let's see what she can do. Alright, go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Stop. I said stop! Stop killing me there. Come forward a little bit! Well, that didn't work out too well with her, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do it by myself again because she just can't hear me, and yeah, so we'll keep going. Well, a bit of a casualty down there in the wall, right there, but you know, it is what it is. I'll go ahead and uh, once it gets up and over, and that's on that side of the frame, it should be good. I'll let you guys watch. Hopefully, don't do no damage. What happened? Did it make it? Ah, it looks like we're in. Hopefully, I can do it now. You guys need to watch them right here now. See what happens. Easy. Think I can push it in now? Oh, yeah. Let me slide those. It's got these wheel locks. Boom. <laughs> so now I'll go ahead and push on up in there just to where I need it, where I need it and want it. Lock the wheels and then, uh, huh. Good to go. All right. Just kidding. Oh, so there we have it. It's in here. I think I'm gonna adjust the wheels on this. I'm gonna pull them back about six inches so I need to go six inches more forward. But uh, now I'll start situating all the different things around here and start working on those stuff. Once again, thanks to everybody for watching. You guys like and subscribe and share and uh, and, and passing all the word along to uh, go check out. Uh, what you do in Willis and uh, also don't forget about what you cook in Julia. She had a video went out earlier at 430 with the pizza Good goodness good 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 goodness goodness it was so go back and watch that and make that recipe That's a that's a really good one and um, and thanks to you for uh, for sticking along and hanging out with us Big shout out big thanks to JK for making the intro in this exit again We're, we're gonna work. I mean, we're just we just started well actually JK just started doing it and uh, he's got a really very creative mind and and it, it just fit right up the alley. So I really love the intro, the new intro. You guys make comments about that. Be sure to jump over to his channel, which is the links in the description. Leave him a comment. Let him know what you think about the, uh, the intro. And I'm going to use this one as the extra for now, which was the one that we started with yesterday. Oh, oh, I fell. But uh, we'll just let his creative mind come up with stuff as uh, we work together. And uh, then we're going to fine tune some stuff for Julia. So thanks again for everybody hanging out. And we will see you next time. Because I need to get in that cabin and do some more work. But, uh, yeah. Check it out. Hey, don't forget to leave me a comment. I forgot to say, leave a comment. Or did I say leave a comment? I'm not sure, but you all know. Leave a comment because I love jumping back to you. And uh, you guys, uh, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to put the sun in your face. You guys all pitching in and saying hello and all that good stuff. So now, now, now check it out. Ba -ba -ba.